project, you're asked to build a house with the sunrise in the background. Let's take a look at the finished product. As you can see, we have our house here and the red sun rising slowly in the background. When you open up the files for this project, you will see that these files, My Picture, Canvas, Circle, Square, and Triangle, are all given to you, but this file will be missing. The reason, of course, is that you have to be responsible for writing this code. Let's take a look now at these other files and what they're used for. Let's start by examining this My Picture file, which contains its own main method. In fact, let's run this file. What is this odd sequence? We've got some circles and squares running around on the board. Let's look inside this file and see what we can find. We see here that there's an entire program inside this file. We see we've created a circle, we've called some methods on the circle, and then we've created another circle, and here we've created a square. It looks like the methods and the uh, objects that we've created in this file correspond directly to the actions that we are seeing when we run this file. This might give us a head start on how we might be able to build our house with the sunrise. Let's see some of the different classes that we used in this file. It looks like there's a circle, another circle, and a square. These appear to correspond to some of the classes that are provided to us here, along with the canvas file that probably provides the background. We see that we have a circle object, a square object, and a triangle object. It's important to realize when you build your house with Sunrise that while you're free to use as many of these objects as you want, you're not allowed to change any of the code in the classes that are provided. You can, however, experiment with your house with Sunrise by modifying the My Picture file. In fact, let's do that right now. In addition to the objects shown here, let's just create a triangle. Over here, it looks like we need to call the make visible method in order to be able to see the triangle. So let's do that also. Let's run this now and see if we can see the triangle showing up on our screen. This green triangle appears to be the one that we just added. If we're clever, we can use this triangle to represent the roof of our house but we're going to need a much larger triangle than this. Is there somewhere in here where we can see that the size of a shape can be changed? Let's take a look at how the squares changed size while we ran the code and became much bigger. Right here there seems to be a method that allows the square to change size to some bigger number. Let's try the same thing out on the triangle. That's odd. We were able to change the size of the square by giving it a single parameter number, but when we tried to do the same thing on the triangle, it didn't work. Let's take a look at the code for the square and the triangle and see what's going wrong. Here is the square code. Let's scroll down to where it says change size. Here we see that the change size parameter is the new size, and we supply it with an integer, it'll change the size of the square. Now let's take a look at the code for the triangle class. Here we see that the change size method takes two parameters instead of one. Can you figure out why the square can be defined its size in a single parameter, but the triangle takes two numbers to define its size? It looks like one is used for the height and one is used for the width. With this in mind, let's go back to our My Picture code now and add a second parameter to the triangle and see if that has any effect. Well, that seemed to do the trick. Now the compiler seems to compile. Let's run this code now and see if the triangle got any bigger. Well, it looks like the triangle certainly got a bit larger. Some of it is located off of our screen, but we're making steady progress. One other thing you'll notice is that when we run the original house with sunrise, that our door consists of a rectangle. Do we have any rectangle classes here? We do not. Can you think of a way you could build a rectangular door using only squares? With the hints that we have provided in this video, you should now be able to go ahead and complete your house with Sunrise.